something that is the beauty that is music. Of course, when we look at music, we think of something that surrounds us, something that we breathe, something we live on. But it's not necessarily something we understand. It's something we feel. And so the question now is, how can we study something we can feel? Well, according to the University of John Hopkins in Heberley Conservatory of Music, music is any curriculum designed to expose students to the art and mechanics of music through lessons or instrumental voice lessons. And so another question within a question, inception right now, is what is the investment of music? Because we know music is something important. We know music is something that we value. So the real question now is, is music something worth investing in? And my stance is a very astounding, yes, I think music education is a very integrated and stimulating pastime activity and it supports all forms of learning. And of course, to elaborate on this, I will go through three main points. First, why we need music education. Second, how music education applies to the real world. And three, what is satisfied. Of course, before we go into that, let's look at a brief history of music in the United States. So of course, in 1717, the first American school was founded dedicated to singing. In 1832, the a prestigious Boston Academy of Music was founded. By the 1900s, universities around the US were starting to introduce bachelors of music programs. Now this is great for two reasons why. This means that one, lecturers are starting to see that music has something worth of a bachelor's. It's something that academics think is valued as hence, are given a chance for students to study it. And two, what it means is that students see a demand in it. They see that, hey, music is something I can study. Music is something that's worth making my life over. It's something worth working for if I want to do it all over my life. So without demand, there will be no such thing as a music education or a bachelor of music. So this indication in the 1900s was great for the, the pros of music education. But of course, for argumentative purposes, I will briefly go through the cause of music education. Now some people complain about music education. They say, is it worth investing in music? They say maybe the cost of programs in music is too expensive. Maybe the cost of music could go to somewhere else. Like, why should I invest money in music when I, could, when, when I can invest it in maybe the high school football team, for example? Or some people say, you know, the equipment of music instruments, or maybe the case, maybe the stance is really too expensive. Or maybe they say, or what everyone says is that why should I be teaching something like a violin or teaching some, someone how to sing in school when they can learn it at home? And of course, my answer to this is very simple. I find that music education and all of it, okay, excuse me, I'm letting my thing, of course. <laughs> and I say this for one real reason, because I think it's fallacy. I think this is nonsense. You know why I do so? Well, there's a lot of it to it. A lot of people say the same argument could be used for anything and everything. Not everyone has to say it. Not everyone has the privilege to pursue music independently. In fact, if you look at a study shown by UCL in 2011, well, I picked that up, is that they asked students, if you could go back five years in the past, what is something, a skill, for example, that would you like to pick up? And of course, a 30% astounding 30% said, hey, I want to study music. And they're like, oh, wow, I didn't expect that. So a month later, they asked the same question. They said, if you, could, if you could relearn music education, is it something you regret not learning? And 78% of them said, yes, I regret learning music education. Of course, why is that? Well, there are a lot of reasons. One, music surrounds us. You don't know when someone's singing. You don't know when someone's playing something like music. Right now, I'm playing a beat. Right now, I'm singing. So you don't really know. Because music surrounds you in every way. So why should we study something like music? Two, the K-12 system we always talk about in the US, something that everyone dreams about in other countries, for example. Like for myself, I'm an international student. If you look at other countries, they look at like, oh my god, K-12 system, American system is the greatest in the world. And you get really excited and stuff. And so the music education we have here is the exact embodiment of the K-12 system. It's the holistic values we so make special in the US. And of course, third, music is something that is internationally known in the world. For example, if you want to speak to someone in French, like you want to say you're happy, you might be like, oh, I don't know how to speak English. Maybe you play something in music, like. And he's like, oh, that sounds really happy. Or if you want to show that you're really sad, you might go. And he'll think, oh, I can tell that person's really sad. And so you speak to other people as though that you speak the same language because music is express, express 
express things that you can't necessarily put in your way you talk. Of the course, there is a lot of things that satisfy us. In fact, according to Children's Music Workshop, the effect of music education on language development can be seen in the brain. Recent studies have clearly indicated that musical training physically develops the part of the left side of the brain known to be involved with processing language. Don't believe me? Well, guess what? There's another study. In fact, I have a lot of papers of studies. Another one by 2007 by Christopher Johnson, professor of music education and music therapy at the University of Kansas, says that students that go to music education store 22% higher in English and 20% higher in math scores on a standardized test. And when you apply to schools like Cal Poly maybe a year ago or four years ago, you might be thinking, how am I going to improve my SAT scores? But guess what? You never thought of that, did you? You didn't think about music helping you? Because music helps in more than one way. It helps one. Not only does it, as said here, helps build the intellectual growth of the brain, it also states that it builds the discipline needed to do well in high school. When you learn music, it's not something you just picked up. You need a lot of discipline, you need a lot of hard work. And so what you learn in music can translate into the real world. And of course, my favorite part of music is the ability to multitask. Of all the different benefits of music education, my favorite attribute is definitely the ability to multitask. Not only does it improve your overall awareness, it allows you to focus on multiple things at the same time. Um, this abstract was taken from the development of musical experience in children at preschool by Mark H, 1976. Wait, so does that mean I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none? Is that what you're trying to say? Absolutely not. It means being a master of all, because it maximizes no. the full consciousness of the brain, making way for better time management and increased focus. Look at that point made by my master. That is an amazing point. <laughs>